I'm Don Nelson. Here are your news headlines. Scientists confirm a pet cat in Waihee County tested positive for rabies. This is the first case of a rabid cat in Idaho in 27 years. The cat was tested after acting aggressive and biting its owner. The animal was likely infected when coming in contact with a bat that carried the deadly virus. So far this year, 10 bats in Idaho were diagnosed with rabies. You'll want to make sure your pets are up to date with their vaccines. People usually come into contact with bats when a pet brings home a sick or dead one. Rabies is a serious illness left untreated. It almost always leads to death in humans and pets, but folks who receive prompt medical attention after possible exposure are usually fine. Four people have been arrested in connection with drug activity at a West Boise home after receiving tips from neighbors. Police began keeping their eyes on a house in the 4800 block of Cresthaven Drive. Records confirm that police and paramedics were sent to the home three times since April of last year on drug-related overdose calls there. When they searched the house yesterday, officers found quantities of what's likely methamphetamine, heroin, and marijuana that they say belong to these four people. Charles Payman of Boise, Michaela Cox of Caldwell were both charged with felony drug trafficking. The other two face a variety of drug-related charges as well. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. Temperatures are on the cool side today, and we had that rain come in through much of the Treasure Valley, and there's still showers out there. It's 56 degrees. Can you believe that in Boise at this hour? 46 in McCall, so uh, it's a little bit colder in McCall where there's been a good amount of rain falling as well. In fact, upwards to a half inch of rain or close to it in many of those high mountain locations. Let's take a look at that latest Doppler radar, and here it is drying out a little bit across Ada County. Generally dry conditions, but you see the brighter greens and yellows to the north and west around Weezer. But we still have a chance for a shower of the Treasure Valley, and a wider view shows there's a thunderstorm forming now. There's some sunshine that's boiling up some of these storms, and they're going to track into the Western Valley this evening as well. This band of clouds is where the steadier rain has been, but the drier conditions to the west, this is where the thunderstorms are popping up, and so we have a chance while the clouds may part, that could also bring in some isolated storms as we head into the evening hours also. Either way, it remains very, very cool. Look at this extended forecast here. Now, not looking like we're getting a lot of rain tomorrow, but there's a chance of some showers. It could still be wet in the morning, and we may get to 64, possibly cooler than that, but Saturday is still looking real good near 70, up to 74 on Sunday, and I think we'll have just a nice, partly cloudy day. I'll have a complete update to that forecast right here later this evening.